Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to update our list item without scroll. So you can see over here, I have one application where I am upgrading list items without refreshing the list. So you can see over here, I can delete that too. But in this tutorial, we are going to just play around with list item update. So this is my very basic application. Whenever I press increment button, then each level gets upgraded without list view being refreshed. So this type of implementation is required in our very large application where we don't want to refresh our list view, but we need to increment some list contents. So you can use any collection view also. So let's jump to the application itself. Here my scroll app starts from main page it's a very basic application with one list view let me remove that we don't want that background color as red so you can see over here i have one list view whose name i have named it as product table list and then this list view will get all this item from uh, its view model it's a very basic mbvm approach of getting our list item from our view model so if you are well known about MBVM, then it will be really easy. So in our main page, our new humans is our placeholder, which will get all its item from our view model. So the bindable object is well defined inside our Xamarin forms. So don't forget to put over there the name spaces. Then inside my human class, we have ID, name as well as origin and it may differ with respect to your implementations like if you are adding any products then it will have its id name or something like that it depends upon the use case so you can see over here i am adding new humans with my predefined data there are near about 10 entries that i am adding inside my new human list so this list is going to be called inside my main page.jml is the mbvm way of sending data to our list now we can see over here we have plus button command let's go to the view part of our list view so inside this view part we are not putting any magic over here we are just telling that inside our new human list we have name so all the list contains should get names that's all inside our list view then we have one button which will do all its magic so here i have one button named as increment then this line of code that is our command so this command has plus button command so it's a way of sending data to our view model telling that this is the object that was selected out of that list and it will get all the contents of that specific list to that button command so you can see over here we have name that is referencing that same specific list as a source so that we can send the information of selected item within that list it's basically items which were selected are going to this method now you can see over here i'll just tell you briefly about what is happening over here now this is the set of code that is doing all its magic that is new humans dot clear that is we are going to clear all the items then out of that object we are going to tell that this is the object that was selected by the user whenever increment button was selected now here after our list gets cleared then we are going to again call all the contents from the api and using this for each loop we are going to do all our uh, our logical operations here you can see i have added specific list item with name that gets a random name you can see over here and which matches with the id so new human dot clear does all its magic that is we are going to clear the list item so that it does not gets refreshed then we are going to call our api and then we are going to load uh, all the contents to that same specific list so this is where we are going to tell that we are going to clear all the list item and then load it from the api that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials